When there's a church as old as this one, what's buried underneath can sure surprise you. Well, I was looking at a jackhammer, and my jackhammer just all of a sudden just went through the field. Yeah, Renovation started here at the Basilica of St. Mary of the Immaculate Conception a couple of years ago, but it was only two months ago when crews stumbled upon a major find. I was like, wow. It's a tunnel. A tunnel that Dr. David Brown was called out to inspect. What we have is a vaulted, handmade brick drain. And that drain is most likely from the late 18th or potentially early 19th century. And a month after a little more digging, Brown and others stood in this sanctuary, under the watchful eyes of the disciples, ready to tell the world what they found. What we've seen to date has certainly given us some initial industry. Uh, initial understanding of what we're dealing with. A drainage tunnel three feet wide, four feet tall, built in the 1800s. One that historian Dr. Cassandra Newby Alexander is excited to learn more about. The fact that it's dry, the fact that it, it really went into the heart of the African American community here in the city of Norfolk. But what's even more fascinating is the roots the church already dug into the African American community when it was built in 1858. We know that, that St. Patrick's was very close to here and St. Patrick's was burned down by the, it's believed was burned down by the Know Nothings um, because we were having interracial masses. We had blacks and whites worshiping in the same place. And um, they were, Father O'Keefe, who was the pastor at the time, was warned uh, uh, to, to stop that. And, um, and then a few weeks later, the church was burned under mysterious causes. Father Jim Curran, who is St. Mary's pastor, says they want to know more about the part the church and this possible tunnel played. We do know that this was a, an area um, that was very active in the Underground Railroad. Um, and so the, the question remains, there, there's no answer, but the, the question is still out there. You know, we're, could this tunnel have been used to uh, transport people from a safe house to a ship? Um, you know, we don't, we really don't know, but we are um, looking into that and we're, we're studying it. It's very exciting. A very exciting time that also came along with the discovery of three crypts. We would also like to do DNA tests and determine who exactly is buried here. There's some kind of oral legend or, or, or tradition that, um, that this was a, um, owned by free blacks and it was a, a burial ground for free blacks. So we'd like to determine that if we can and, and determine exactly who it is that, that is buried underneath our church. A church full of history, one that will become the only African-American basilica in the country. A beacon of hope with a past full of perseverance that will continue to shine whether or not the tunnel was used for the Underground Railroad. It is a reminder to us of, of the power of God and, and that, that the power of that human spirit that, that refuses to be shackled, that, would, that will always find freedom. And so it is a, a great reminder, irrespective of how it was ever used, it is a great reminder to us of that, that, that human quest for freedom. And a reminder that the past isn't so far behind, just buried beneath a church hoping to shine light in more ways than one.